What's up guys, Riggs Motorsports here. I'm with Jams as you can see. We got the big Ford F-250 diesel. It's a 7.3 IDI hooked up to our trailer. We actually got this one in auction as well. Speaking of auctions, we're actually gonna pick up a, another 4Runner. This one though, a 1997 third gen manual. It's super, super clean. We got it from an auction online, about two hours away from our house. We were able to check it out in person before we purchase it so we know it's super clean it does need a new engine we're going to pick up one for about a grand either going to flip and sell that one or sell my dad's element that he drove to work today he's going to probably list both and see which one we get the most profit for and keep the other two hour drive about we got to get on it all right guys we are about 30 minutes exactly away from the auction see chance kind of behind me there it's weird driving the speed limit I'm usually good 10 15 miles over on the freeway definitely especially when the speed limit 70 but about 30 minutes there it's been super smooth sailing so far I'm really excited super excited to see the truck on the back of the trailer to be honest and then drop it off at our dad's shop after but otherwise we'll keep you guys posted well Here's what we got. Forerunner. Manual. It's a 97 though. But. Comes with a caveat. missing the heads well it's in the back but something was wrong with the engine so we assume a blown head gasket because we car faxed it and up until this point it was a one car owner always maintenance at toyota of uh, vancouver i believe here in washington yeah or no toyota of cleon i think that's what it was yeah toyota dad, of Ellensburg. That's dad what said it was. somewhere west eastern but point is it was maintenance always at toyota it was a one car owner the thing's stupid clean it's even got the spare tire underneath frame rails the tire none of it's been hit by anything you could tell this thing's never been off-roaded in its life it looks like so we're gonna buy the new three four swapping in and like i said either sell my dad's element or this whichever one sells first yeah make a i'd rather keep this though Yeah, so we're just getting the paperwork and then we'll be able to take this home. Inside is really nice, all complete. Oh, I guess these are seat covers. Dad was saying that they were seat covers and I didn't believe them, but they are. I wonder what those seats look like. These ones are nice. So there you can see the heads and some other components underneath them. Oh, wow, this has a cargo rack. I didn't even notice that when we looked at it last. Headliner's good, all intact. Uh, that sun visor might need to be replaced. It's looking a little worse for wear. But, all in all, goodbye. Got Amazing tires. For the deal we got it for. Good tread still on there. Are those winter tires? No, these are Cooper all terrain. These oh, are actually okay. nice tires. Yeah. Damn, I didn't realize these things are almost brand new. I was wondering why those tires I mean, it has the roof rack rails, but it's missing the top cross section. You can easily get those. Yeah. This is bolted right in. What are these? Oh, it's got a tiny ding right here. Hey, yeah, that's fine. Cool. got the GoPro because we forgot to throw it in that 4Runner in front of us 
that was supposed to be behind me, but he had to speed up and ask me if uh, it was in here, which it is. And we just got done going up a big hill. And I don't know if you can see it, but it got a little warm, not too bad. So we're finally going back downhill. Let it cool down a bit. It's going back down to where it usually sits. So we're going to dad's work. That's where we're gonna drop this off. And I'm gonna put this down so I can focus on this because I've never done this before. <laughs> Maybe take a shower in first. And, uh, and yeah, go from there. All right, so here's the skid plate for the 4Runner. And it is pretty dirty. I already washed the backside. But I didn't even think about grabbing the camera until I was already done. But it cleans up really well. And there's still a bit of rust on it, but we can just wire wheel that off and then we're gonna respray it. So what I'm doing is just spraying it with this purple power, letting it sit for a bit, and then using the good old pressure washer to spray it off. And it was just two bolts on either side to split this into two sections, make it a bit easier to wash. So just start spraying it down. After this, I'll let it sit for a bit so it can eat away at some of the grease, oil, dirt. Then I'll come out with the pressure washer and that works really well. Parts. We're going to take my fold all done. 
injectors and some plugs, some tubing for the other part of the intake manifold. I think that's called like the high rise or something. I'm not sure, but these are the uh, fuel rails on either side. Here's the injectors, but uh, throttle body got the plugs taped off. Uh, forgot to do that one. I'll just do that. But after that, should be spraying all this down. All right, guys, I don't know if we ever showed the 4Runner back at our house, but here it is. It's been washed since, wiped down a little bit with some detailer and whatnot so we can kind of see how it looks while it's cleaned up. Overall, looks super, super good. There was a leather, leather bra thing on here that kind of discolored the hood a little bit. We're definitely planning on touching up the body one way or another if Dad keeps the 4Runner or we sell it and sell the element and keep this so yeah it looks super clean uh things down like on the the panels down here have a little rock chipping i don't know if you guys can even see that it's not too bad paint looks really good overall needs some touch up has little defects here and there soup body is super super straight as we've mentioned interior wiped that down a little bit the other day and kind of Cleaned the floor mats up and used some detailer throughout and just kind of checked it out. And like I said, super clean. They use one of those things that sucks all the atmosphere or whatever out of the, the car. Try to give it, suck all the odors out. It smells pretty clean in here too. Headliner's super good. The rear end doesn't even sag, which is surprising. It doesn't look like it's ever had a leveling kit or anything on it. It sits really even with the front our forerunner over there chances in mine the rear sagged a decent amount before we put the leveling kit on it it's hard to tell right now because it's up but it still could probably even be a little bit higher but this sits great it's nice i don't have to worry about that for now doesn't look like it's ever been really off-roaded hard maybe taken to like campsites and things like that but it's really it she looks super clean for a manual uh, third gen. Super stoked on that. Other than that, as you've seen in previous clips now, we got the 3.4 for it, the new, brand new one, the 3.4 for it, the brand new 3.4. It did come with one. The engine was torn apart with the head in the back. We're not entirely sure what's wrong with it. We haven't had a chance to look yet. We're guessing head gasket, but we got the new one right here with about 70,000 miles or so from Japan. Chance is already tearing into it, cleaning it up a little bit. Dad said he got the new timing belt and water pump today ordered. So it's gonna get a new timing belt and water pump for sure. Pretty exciting stuff. It's gonna have a super fresh engine in it with the 3.4 liter manual transmission. Really great combination. Dad's thinking about turboing it already. It seems like if he plans on keeping it. So yeah, I mean, look at this. Clean it up super nice. I mean, that engine looks extremely clean. Just as we got it, seventy thousand miles or so. That's like barely a tick on this thing's lifespan. So, all right, guys. I think that's gonna do it for the end of the video. We got the 4Runner home successfully. Everything checks out how we wanted it to. Body looks pretty good. Really straight, we're just gonna touch up the paint probably. Get this brand new 3.4 liter in it with super low miles, and she should be good to go. We can either keep it or sell it. There's, it's nice to have options on the table. It's really up to whatever dad wants to do or what we get more money out of. I think the Toyota would probably pull a little bit more money, but it's definitely worth keeping also. Chance is making faces back there, being a crazy man like usual. So I think that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Riggs Motorsports, check it out.